what three values would you use to change the world? It's kind of like that question of which records would you take with you onto a desert island? What songs would you want to listen to? It's kind of an arbitrary question, but important nonetheless. It makes us focus. Make us focus on what we think is the source of our other values. Welcome to the Academy on Capitalism's YouTube channel. We're dedicated to bringing educational opportunities to undergraduate students on the benefits of liberty. But the values we've chosen might not be what you think at first. There is a thing out there, it's called an argument. It has a certain structure to it, a certain flow to it. Some people are very good at it, some people aren't so good at it. But there's a thing called the argument, and it's beautiful. It's an art form. Even arguments you disagree with. It's like watching a chess game sometimes. And see, arguments people misinterpret. Arguments aren't opinions. It's not about opinion. It's about the reasons for those opinions. Opinions are usually the first thing we hear, but really they need to be the last step, not the first in our deliberations. And we hold to the spirit of Francis Bacon, the scientific method. People know him for that, but they don't know why. Well, the reason is, is he noticed that people have the habit of taking a few observations and from that overgeneralizing into some big theory and then once they're in the big theory they dig in their heels and they refuse to change. We see this happening all the time in our personal lives. You don't have to go too far to find somebody who thinks some other group's bad drivers. How many observations has that person really had? How many observations have any of us had driving compared to all the drivers in the world, let alone broad generalizations that people believe vehemently? That's just bad arguing. So whatever's good in this world, there's some argument for it. And if we know that argument, I think we can make it better. Because the argument's about the reasons that we have. And there are good reasons and bad reasons. We want to try and find better reasons. Because as those reasons improve, so will our conclusions. So will our opinion. It'll become more refined. And that's what we're going to do here. And in the process, become more effective towards getting what we want in the world. Better lives, better communities, better world. And however you define better, I'll, I'll leave that to you. But it's in the argument. And arguments are beautiful. We're the Academy on Capitalism, so we're going to argue about capitalism. Freedom is our fundamental value. This is the second value. It's human liberty in all its forms. Political, economic, and personal. Those all go into capitalism. You can't have capitalism with people not talking to each other. You might not always care for the discussion, but advertising is talking to each other. Prices are talking to each other. I'm telling you how much I'm selling something for. If I can't tell you that, how do we connect? And there's product descriptions, there's reputations, relationships, all of that's part of capitalism. So we do take a broad view of capitalism, but that broad view is grounded in human liberty. And that's the fundamental value we want to talk about. We're not going to engage in negative arguments too much. It, it happens from time to time you have to say somebody's wrong. But even if somebody else is wrong, it doesn't make us right. I can show somebody that they built a crappy house and it's going to fall over, but that doesn't make my house any stronger. Doesn't mean I nailed the boards any better or laid the cement any stronger. We have to have our foundations in order. Negative can turn nasty fast. Human resource people know this. It's part of their training. Anger begets anger. Attacks make people defensive and they shut down. If they shut down, they don't hear the argument. And that's contrary to our values. You're just like Hitler. How many times are we going to hear that on the internet? After three exchanges. Or you're just like Stalin. Or you're just like this other person we don't like. We've been talking five minutes. So we're going to pull back from that. Because name calling? Well, this is going to lead us to our third value. There's the argument. And what we're arguing about. Liberty. But then there's the actual process of doing it. The actual skill of arguing. And we wish to argue well. We wish to display that, embody that in what we do and in the videos we post. It's to argue well and learn how to argue better. I think I'm on firm ground saying that, you know what? The scientific method changed the world and continues to do so. So in our own humble way, we wish to feed into that tradition. That these are values, in fact, that can change the world and change it for the better. I know. You're going to think of a counterexample. That's fine. But once again, is it a singleton? Or is it a mass of data? Is it just a personal story? Or is it a statistic? And this is important. Personal experiences will give life to an event, but it's statistics and data that are going to show us what's really the case. That's why the insurance industry doesn't go on what Bob or Susan said coming into the office. They have data on groups and subgroups and all other sorts of tags of people who have and have not been in accidents, such that they can assign probabilities to it and they can do this so well they make money off of it. That's pretty impressive. Having that kind of data, it's not always possible, but having that kind of data, I mean, you can change the world. And so 
We invite you on our journey here. We invite you to make comments. We'll leave the comments up as long as they're addressed to the argument. If they're addressed to the person, we'll do our best to take them down. We might miss some. We're not the internet police. We're going to focus on the argument. We're going to do that to the best of our ability. Hopefully we'll all learn something as we go on. Please check out our other videos. Brian Kaplan on Open Borders. Got Wade on Why Africa is Poor. Steve Horwitz on Why Capitalism Has Shaped How the Family Is Today. And many more. Thank you for joining us for this video, and we do hope to see you again. Thank you.